Hey guys, Zykeek here, and welcome back to another episode of Levitated with me. Hello. I did a little stuff off camera, and I got much farther than I thought I would be able to. So, uh, before I continue, though, I do want to apologize. If there's anything that I'm missing and or have forgotten, I, it's because it's been a little over a month since the last video for me. <laughs> it should be only a week for you guys, though, so don't, don't worry about that. But, uh... I'm trying to remember things to my best. I did rewatch the episode that you guys saw last week, so I do remember a couple things. So I know what I was working on. And one of the things involved mana. So we were working on getting a miniature sky globe island thing. It's right here. It's called a miniature world. Yeah, it's a miniature sky city globe. I was really close to the words for that. <laughs> um, and we got one, two, three, three things, I think, at the time. But I got the crystal of souls. I don't remember if that was one of the things we finished with. But we got a couple uh, uh, of things. So we're working now on four more. So we need a, uh, a this thing. <laughs> it's a vial of levitation. We need a dragon spirit. We need an empowered shard of Labuda, and then a core of levity. So we need those all to make the miniature city sky globe. So that's what we're working with. So I've been getting a lot of mana, just pumping some coal into into our. What are these? End of flames? And that sort of stuff. Um, and I didn't add much. I did make sure to put a spot to put our new item because... Because I think it is for this item, which is the Shard of Laputa. So if I put in this... We talked about last time that this was going to be difficult because I needed so many shards of... Or Gaia Spirits. I always want to call them shards. And I don't know why, but we needed Gaia Spirits. We needed, I think, at least 20 of them. I think we had two, so I needed only 18 more. And then you needed to combine it with an End Shard with a full full thing of mana into a terrestrial agglomeration plate that requires End Steel and blocks of Terra Steel. So I got all of that, surprisingly. So I, I thought I would struggle with Gaia a lot more than I did. And I know for the longest time that we did struggle with defeating Gaia, and it took a long time. But... So I did a couple things different. Now I did move, I made another Fallen Canade and I put it under here, but it still doesn't do anything. I, there's a mana bucket or a mana pool below there. I don't know if it's full now, but it doesn't do anything and I couldn't get it to do anything. But what I did different is I had a lot of golden apples. I made my long sword up to sharpestest, which is as sharp as it possibly could go. So now it does, where is it? 19 and a half attack damage. So... <laughs> It does almost 20 attack damage. I put on uh, I put on the elementi is it elementium armor, the pink armor, to get pixies and such. And I made a tainted blood pendant. Now, the last time we did regeneration, but I was reading around online and it said to make a resistance two instead of regeneration because the regeneration doesn't seem to be fast enough. So I did that, and that all of that was enough. I didn't even have these things powered because I didn't have enough uh, mana at the time. I didn't have the bell of thorns going, so. That's all I needed, and I did pay a little bit more attention to the to the to the purple mist that's on the ground, but it's really hard to avoid. <laughs> I've tried, but I only died once, as you can tell on my uh, ma map. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. It's bothering me. Uh, so yeah, I got all of the shards that we need. So and I've been doing the mana and uh, a couple other things, I think, if I remember correctly. But we're gonna just focus on the shard right now because I have all the items I need in here. So we needed the. Terra Steel Ingots, End Steel Ingots, as well as an End Shard, Gaia Spirits, and the Shard of Laputa. So I'm going to go ahead and do the shards in here. So I need to get up to 20. So let's go ahead and do this for a bit. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and it shouldn't go above that, yeah. So I ended up with six left over, which is great. So let's go ahead and see if we, I think, I believe I have enough mana to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and, ooh, I meant to make these into black form. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait, what did I do wrong? Why do I have four extra? I think I did my math wrong somewhere. I needed five of these, and I needed four of these. If I remember correctly, I've got to double check that, yeah. I don't know how I ended up with four extra, but we're going to deal with that. So it's like that, and then you just need this, and I'll, it'll get me the spark with it. Okay, so that should be enough for that. And all I have to do is I have to throw the shard 
and an, the Shard of Laputa Shard Power 20 and the End Shard on there. And it should take a full, full thing of mana. And there's plenty in here, so I think it should, it should be fine. Ooh, those are pretty sparks. I like those. Ooh, they turn blue. I think it's one more time. Yay! We did it! Castle in the sky! Awesome! So we got that. Ooh, that's a purple. So now we can put that in our chest. Eh. Okay. So we'll put that in the chest with all of our other items. So I think this is our little list that we got going on. So the other thing that we can do right now is I got the material to make the core of levity. So it's apart from building the base for the sky city, you'll also have to keep it floating. I'm sure the end creature just... I'm sure an end creature dedicates its life to keeping these levitated, which it does. So <laughs> all you needed for these is you needed pristine choker matter, you needed choker shells, you needed end steel ingots, and a vapor of levity bucket. And I don't quite remember if we did this last episode or if I did it on my own. I think we did it together. But it's just uh, grains of prescience, grains of pisiality, and then dew of the void, which you get from grains of pisiality and grains of the end, and a nutrition distillation, and nutrition distillation is like combination of like m meat I guess is what this would be and a type of like sugar so so if I look up the core of levity it tells us how to do it right here so all we have to do is in the vapor of levity we'll just put that in the ground we just throw in 16 pristine shulker matter 64 end steel and 32 shulker shells and we'll get our core so all I got to do is make a hole in the ground somewhere so I'm going to do it out here I didn't get the ground. I thought I would for some reason. I forgot that it's like that. <laughs> oh, it makes snow? That's interesting. Aha! Core of levity! Yay! Hang on, it's gonna bother me. I don't feel that. I don't know why it gave me snow, but I'll take it. I didn't know they gave snow. So yay, we got our core. So now that our island can float, so I'm going to put that right there. Okay. We're on the right track. So now that's two of the items. So now we only need two more things. Now both of these are going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to go, I'm going to explain the dragon spirit one real quick. But I think that's the one we're going to do last. So, with the spirit dragon, it says, Kikoku, the legendary blade, is said to cleanse the spirit of its enemies. The spirit of the end dragon might Possess the power beyond nature, which could be of great help to the spell. So, we need a Kikoku, which is this, like, katana-type sword. I know it's not a katana, because it's called a Kikoku, but it's the best I got. <laughs> but what you need for it to make, I'm sure a lot of you know what this is, but it's from Extra Utilities too, and you need this Opinium, opinium course, which you have perfected, inspiring, amazing, damn good. Good, decent, passable, mediocre, and pathetic. So you have to build your way up to all of those. Now, you only need two of the final, but this takes... All right, one of the perfected course takes two inspiring, which take two amazing, which take two damn good, so on and so forth. So it always doubles what you need. So you're going to need a lot of it. <laughs> so... I believe we have the majority of these materials. Like, I think the only thing is, like, this takes another stars, but we have that. This takes elytras. So I think if I do my math right, it's two of these. So I need four of these. So to take four of those, I need eight elytras. And then with the these, I need eight of these, which each take one, two. So I need, I think I need a total of 16 elytras. And I think right now I have three. And they're not... Oh, but they are double bullet for a full bucket of mana. So I could do that, or I can fly around to see if I can find some more end cities, because that hasn't been difficult so far. Okay, so but we could do that. We have options. So that's just a matter of, like, I have everything else, because it just takes iron, nether stars. A bottle of enchanting might take a second, but I think I can get essence of knowledge, or maybe liquid XP on my own. Yeah. Because it just takes overworldly and matter, which I can get. And then it's just coarse flowers, and then emeralds and diamonds, and then gold. So yeah, we have the rest of this. And then red coal is really easy because it's just that. So 
It's doable. It's just going to take a bit to get all the material for it. That, and I need to do the exact math of how many of, like, just the basic pathetic ones I need. And I don't know if I did my math right earlier, so I'm not even going to attempt to say the <laughs> number. Because if it's if I'm right, that's a very large number. But I could be wrong, so we'll, we'll find out. But the other one that we need to do is the vial of levitation. So it says, in addition to the core of levity, a large quantity of fuel, in quotation marks, uh, is needed to keep the city floated. Sadly, lava probably won't make the cut, so you have another idea. So I need to fill an iron drum with a potion of levitation, which is the non-extended version, which is 30 minutes, and then craft into a vial of levitation. So if I go levitation... Levitation. There we go. And do the vial. All it is is I need a mana glass vial and a full iron drum of the potion that it said. So I might have a mana glass vial, I think. Yeah, I have one. I have two, but I only need one, so I'm just going to put it right here. And then I have an iron drum. So we need to fill this with this potion. It's the potion levitation for three minutes. And it's not a difficult potion. All it is is an awkward potion and blitz powder. And the awkward potion is just nether wart. And I think an iron drum fills with 256 buckets. Yeah, 256 buckets. Did I do that? Yeah. So, we need 256 buckets worth. Now, thankfully, there's this thing called, not the bottling machine. I want the mixer from Immersive Engineering. Because what it does is per item that you put in there, it'll do a whole bucket of it. So, if I do that, I only need 256 of nether wart. Which I have over 2,000, so it's 256, which I think is that much. Yeah, four stacks. And then we need blitz powder. Now, I went ahead, I have 340, so that's good. <laughs> Two, three, four. What I did to get more blitz powder is because I originally only had the rods, and we were getting these from the desert in the overworld. You know, the one filled with hurricanes and awfulness. <laughs> but I went ahead and made a thermal element elemental data module so that way we can get the pristine thermal elemental matter so I didn't have to sit there and kill hundreds of them. Now thankfully with the blitz rods too, if I put them in the sag mill I'm guaranteed four each so that's really what helped uh, but I believe I actually still have it in here. But I really like this thing because it makes it, yeah, I don't have to do much on my own. Now I don't think I'll process this just in case we need uh, like blitz or basalts or anything like that so I'll keep that. But that's nice to know that we can do that. So, but what I want to do is with the immersive engineering mixer. I want to build that because it's going to make things a lot easier when it comes to getting it. So it's just like focusing on getting just a ton of awkward potion, which I think we could just put in the drum in itself, or we could make another drum. And then we'll take that awkward potion, put it back into the mixer, and then have it make our levitation potion, put it in the drum, and then we craft it, and then we'll be good to go. So I went ahead and made all of the blocks that we need for the mixer. We actually already had the majority of these, but thankfully they're also just really easy to craft anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. So, oh, I still have it open. So it's not hard. I just got to go put it somewhere. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in our little building over here. It's going to be a little crowded, but it also makes it where I can use the, the, uh, the reservoir. What is it called? What are you? Thing that holds water. Endervoir. So I can use this, I can either break it here or I can just pump, because I do have some more pressurized fluid conduits and I have energy conduits. However, what energy conduits do I have downstairs? It is the green ones, okay. <laughs> oh, I, for whatever reason, I remember them being orange and I was like, oh no, that doesn't mix. <laughs> so we can do that. So all I have to do, I, there should be plenty of space up here because it's, yeah, it's just a three by three by three. So I can actually not have it touch the wall if I didn't want to which I think I won't. Yeah, just so I can have that glass open. So we're going to have it here. I'm not... Where does everything go? So I think it said that... I think the back... Hang on. Da, 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 da. Where does it say things? Mm. Fluids are input into the mixture through the port at the bottom of its power supply. Items can be input via the two hatches at the back. The fluid port at the front serves as the fluid output. So applying red so fluids are input into the mixer through the port at the bottom of its power supply. I did not mean to do that. So this is the front, so this is the exit. This is the entrance, and then the back is items. So it's gonna be pumped in through 
this side. So I want it to face this way. Okay. All right. So we want it like this. So it's going to be one, two, three, and then an L. We can do this. One, two, three. An L of the steel scaffolding. A light engineering block. Okay. That's the bottom layer. Next one is two engineering blocks are sheet metal and then one, two, three, four, and then our redstone block right here, I believe. Is that what I had? Yeah. And then it's boop, and then boop. Ah, it did it. It glitched out for half a second, but it did it. Okay. Cool. Output only bottom fluid. Yeah. Okay. So I need to put an energy into here, which unfortunately is only through the top, but I can do it this way. I can have it just go above. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but that's okay. There we go. So, yay, now it's got power. Now I gotta put fluid in, so that's the input, so I might just, thanks, steal that real quick. Um, and I guess I could put it into the floor. I'm gonna do that, because I don't want it floating. Where's my axe? There it is. Um, I'm breaking everything I don't want to break. One, two, three. Oop, nope. Do it like that. And then... Three, four, and then I need some buckets of water. I need two buckets of water, which do I have here? <laughs> oh, it's in my basement, if I remember correctly. That would be smart. I was like, I, there's no way I didn't. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Vial of gills. Okay. I was like, that looked like the potion I wanted, but I don't remember making it. <laughs> And then put some buckets of water in here. There we go. And then, boop. We want this to extract. And then this just to insert. There we go. Now it's full of water. And I guess I just put another wart in there. And it'll just make things. And then I want to put this iron drum. I guess I could put it right here. Drum potion. Okay, it's not going to tell me what the potion is, but it says that there's a potion, so. That's okay. Output only bottom fluid. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, that's not too bad. It's already got two buckets in there, so now we just wait. And this only holds eight buckets at a time, so I am going to need another drum. So let's go ahead and make another one of those. And then it's just a matter of waiting for that. I could put this here and put that back here. I think this was here. Up there was the manual, then it was my axe, and then it was that, and then it was that. Trying to keep things organized to the best of my ability. <laughs> All right, let's make another iron drum. Just to have it. And I believe all I need is these weighted pressure plates. And I'm just going to go put that in that building for right now. And then I think, uh, let's go ahead and see. Well, hang on. How fast is this going? Ooh, it's already six, almost seven buckets. Okay, I'm going to just put this here so I don't forget about it. Yeah. We'll let that run. So that's actually going pretty fast. So that's great. So now the only thing we have to do is while we wait for that is the kekoku. And then, all right, so what we could do also, I know I talked about this when we landed on our new home, our vacation home. We could work on getting ourselves a beacon. We don't have anyone to broadcast to, but you also know there might be aliens, and I could make friends. <laughs> it's just a beacon. Um, let me see where... Where do I read that sort of stuff? I don't remember. Um, I don't think it was in here, was it? Where I learned about beacons and such. No. B 
beacon. Here it is. It's a multi-block machine. Uh, and then it's, I need a tracking circuit, machine structure. Let's see, can I make any of that? No. <laughs> oh, I can make copper coils. That's easy. And then the iron sheets is water and an iron plate. So I got to go do that in the rolling machine. So I need two of those. And then I need a control circuit board. Really easy tracking circuit. So it's a basic circuit plate, I have Ender, and a redstone. Let's see. I have Ender. Of course, I don't have that. And then what did I say was the last thing? It was a basic circuit plate. Basic. I don't have a basic circuit plate, so how do I make that? Oh, silicone wafer, which is silic sil silicone. I do have silicone wafers. So I need redstone, gold ingot, and then it's, okay. Redstone, gold ingot. Okay, so we got all of that material. So I think I'm going to work on that in between episodes while we let our potion run. And then I think next episode, I'll try to see if I can get all my math. Uh, straightforward for the Kokoku, and we'll craft that, and we'll have to respawn the Ender Dragon, because we've already defeated her before, but we'll respawn her and see if we can get her soul, and then we'll go from there. So, yeah. Waiting for all our mana to go up. I'm gonna end up needing five five whole things of this, so keep chugging. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below. I always greatly appreciate it. I want to thank everyone for watching the series for as long as you have. I know it's been going on for a while, but I've been enjoying it thoroughly. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it too. It's a very different type of mod pack starting in the end and working your way to a overworld. I won't say the overworld. You do get to the overworld, but you don't want to be there. So <laughs> it's a very interesting pack and I really like it. So yeah, thank you all for watching and that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.